library friends, Miss Mandy here. You know, today was a really snowy, cold, blustery day. And I thought it would be pretty fun if we had a cozy, comfy pajama story time. So I asked my dog, Abigail, if she would like to join us for story time today, and she said she would. So she's going to hang out with us for story time today, aren't you, puppy? All right, let's go ahead and sing our welcome song. Here we go. Welcome, welcome, everyone. Now you're here, we'll have some fun. First, we'll clap our hands just so. Then we'll bend and touch our toes. Welcome, welcome, everyone. Now you're here, we'll have some fun. Yay! Good job! We say good job and we say good dog to Abigail, huh? Good dog, Abigail. Good dog. All right. Ooh, and I hear a little jingle of a bell in the background. That means the cat's close. So if we're really lucky, the cat will come and join us for story time. All right, so I'm in my pajamas for our cozy, comfy story time because we had such a cold, blustery day. I have Pigeon. Oh, Abigail loves Pigeon. I have Pigeon here with us to enjoy story time with us. I made myself a mug of tea using my favorite narwhal mug that always makes me so happy. If you wanted to pause story time right now and go fix yourself a mug of tea or a cup of hot chocolate, you absolutely can. And then, we are going to read Mudgy and Millie. That's our book today. Hi, huh, Abigail. We're going to read Mudgy and Millie. Are you ready to get started with Mudgy and Millie? All right, I think Abigail's ready. If you're ready, I'll go ahead and get started with our book today. All right, so our book today is <laughs> Mudgy and Millie, and it's by Susan Nip. She's the author, she wrote the words, and Charles Reisner is the illustrator. He drew the pictures. So we'll get started with Mudgy and Millie. And this is the reason why I chose this book today. Do you recognize that? That is Coeur d'Alene, where we live. I see Tubbs Hill, do you see Tubbs Hill? There's Tubbs Hill. And right there is the library. That makes me so happy, I love seeing that. All right, so let's get started and read the book. Mudgy and Millie by Susan Nip and Charles Reisner. I think Abigail's really excited for this book, aren't you, Abigail? Yeah? Oh, good. Good dog. All right, here we go. One sunny summer day, Mudgy Moose and Millie Mouse were splashing in Coeur d'Alene Lake by Tubbs Hill. Millie, quite drenched from jumping off Mudgy's antlers, said, Now let's play hide and seek. Mudgy slushed out of the water and excitedly replied, my favorite game. Okay, you hide first, Millie. Mudgy leaned his head on a tall pine tree, closed his eyes, and began to loudly count to ten. One, two, three. Millie Mouse had a clever idea. She smiled to herself as she quietly climbed up the pine tree. Four, five, six. Ever so slowly, Millie crept into Mudgy's antlers. Seven, eight, and gently snuggled down. Mudgy Moose finished counting. Nine, ten, and shouted, here I come, ready or not. Then Mudgy began to look for Millie. He searched behind rocks and under bushes. He looked up in the green fir trees and down around the colorful wildflowers. But Mudgy couldn't find Millie anywhere. Hmm, where do you think Millie is? Do you remember? Hmm, perhaps she's on the trail. Or maybe she went into town to hide, he thought. I'll go look. Millie giggled to herself as she wrapped her tail around Mudgy's antlers and held on for the bumpy ride. Mudgy Moose eagerly trotted down the path through the forest to Coeur d'Alene. Some hikers were just starting up the trail. Mudgy stopped and asked, Have you seen Millie Mouse hiding on the trail? Millie peeked from behind Mudgy's antlers and quietly put her finger to her mouth. Shh. The hikers laughed and said, No, Millie isn't hiding on the trail. Mudgy wondered why they were laughing. Thank you anyway, he said, and he continued on his way. 
Hmm. <laughs> Mudgy's a little confused, huh? But he's still being very polite. Mudgy thought, Millie loves books. Maybe she's hiding in the library. He skipped down the sidewalk to go find out. <gasps> Look at that. It's my favorite building. There's the library. Have you ever seen the Mudgy and Millie statue that's right outside the library? Yeah, that's pretty cool. It looks something like this. What window is Mudgy looking through? That is the window that looks right into the children's library. Hmm. Mudgy looked through the window into the library. The librarian saw him and came out. Mudgy asked, have you seen Millie Mouse hiding in the library? Millie peeked from behind Mudgy's antlers. Shh. The librarian, hey, who's the librarian that works at the Coeur Library? Oh yeah, it's me. <laughs> the librarian chuckled and said, no, Millie isn't hiding in the library. Mudgy wondered why she was chuckling. Thank you anyway, he said, and he continued on his way. Hmm, where should I look next? That Mudgy. Millie loves people and stores and cars and lights and restaurants. Maybe she's hiding somewhere downtown. Mudgy strolled down the street looking in all directions. He saw some shoppers and asked, have you seen Millie Mouse downtown? Millie peeked from behind Mudgy's antlers. Shh. The shoppers grinned and one little voice said, No, Millie isn't hiding downtown. Mudgy wondered why they were grinning. Thank you anyway, he said, and he continued on his way. Mudgy was puzzled. Where could Millie be? He needed to think, so he slowly walked around the boardwalk. He thought and thought. Boats were coming and going, but he didn't even notice. Suddenly, Mudgy stopped. He thought of one more place. Millie peered over his antlers, wondering where they would go next. Millie loves to play at the playground, Mudgy thought. Maybe she's hiding in City Park. Hmm, let's go see if she's hiding in the park. Do you remember where she is? Is she hiding in the park? No. Where is she hiding? Exactly right, she's in his antlers. Deciding that must be the place, Mudgy galloped to the park to begin his search. Mudgy went straight to the playground. He looked down from the tall tower, peered over the wobbly bridge, and peeked under the tunnel slide. Mudgy saw some children playing. He asked, have you seen Millie Mouse hiding in the park? Millie peeked from behind Mudgy's antlers. Shh, the children giggled and said, no, Millie isn't hiding in the park. Mudgy wondered why they were giggling. Thank you anyway, he said, but he didn't continue on his way. He was getting tired from all that trotting and skipping and strolling and walking and galloping. Mudgy found a grassy spot under some trees, snuggled down and fell asleep. When he began to snore, Millie thought, hmm, this would be a good time for me to play. She slowly crept out of Mudgy's antlers and quietly slipped to the ground. Millie scampered back to the playground. She balanced on the beam, tiptoed through the tunnel, and swung on the swings. Finally, she scurried up the slide. Whee! She cried as she slid down with glee. After all her playing, Millie was now tired too. Seeing that Mudgy was still asleep, <sighs> she carefully crept back into his antlers and settled in for a little nap. When Mudgy woke up, he was very thirsty. He decided to go down to the lake for a drink. He stood up so quickly that he nearly knocked Millie out of his antlers. Suddenly waking up, she held on as Mudgy hiked through the park to Independence Point. Mudgy stopped at the edge of the water. As he began to lean down toward the lake, he heard someone laughing and giggling and chuckling. He looked to his left. He looked to his right. He didn't see anyone. Millie quickly covered her mouth to hold back her giggles. Hmm, where is she? Do you see her on the page? There she is. Again, Mudgy leaned down to get a drink. As his head neared the water, he saw a strange reflection. He saw his big brown nose. He saw his big brown eyes. He saw his big brown ears. But wait, what was that dangling from his big brown antlers? It was Millie Mouse, grinning and hanging on tightly so she wouldn't fall into the water. 
Mudgy began to laugh. His body shook and his head shook and his antlers shook. Millie began to laugh too. Her body shook and her head shook and her whiskers shook. They both laughed so hard that Millie bounced from Mudgy's antlers onto his big brown nose. Mudgy looked cross-eyed at Millie. What a perfect hiding place, he exclaimed. It sure was, Millie laughed. I really fooled you. Well, Mudgy chuckled, you'd better get ready, because now it's my turn to hide. Excellent job listening to Mudgy and Millie. And you know what? Since this is a comfy, cozy pajama story time, I thought we'd end by singing one of our favorite songs. So let's sing Twinkle, Twinkle, Little Star. Here we go. Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are. Up above the world so high, like a diamond in the sky. Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are. Well, thank you so much for joining me for my cozy, comfy pajama story time on this cold and blustery and snowy and icy day.